Hi, my name is Florian from Quality Guru, where I answer your questions and share knowledge about quality management. Today I will talk about auditing in quality management. Auditing in quality management is a very common practice. In this video I would like to share with you what is auditing and why should we use it and what are the different kinds of audits we use in quality management. So what is an audit? Audit is basically, an audit is an inspection of the organization. So we have our organization and we want to inspect it in order to see if it's compliant with a specific standard. So then we have a person who's called the auditor. This could be an internal person or an external person. That means some person within the company or a person coming from the outside of the company. And this person would then go into the company and ask questions in order to verify that the company is really adopting the standard they are auditing and that the people are also following those standards in their behavior. So this is basically what an auditor is doing. They plan an audit, they explain in the beginning of the audit to the people what is the target, then they audit all the areas, and at the end they issue a report with the final result. If the result is good, the company can get certified if it's a certification audit, or if the audit is not good, then the organization will also get the feedback and the detailed result in order to improve, and then in the next audit can be repeated later, then get the final result and get the certification if this is what the audit is about. In an audit there are different ways how we can audit an organization. So there are system audits, there are process audits and there are product audits for a manufacturing company. A system audit is a very general high-level audit which basically looks at the system point of view of a quality management system. So let's look at, for example, the ISO 9000. So a system auditor will look, are the requirements of the ISO 9001 properly transferred into the structure of the business? Do they have the business processes? Do they have a quality policy? Are they defining quality objectives? Are they measuring the achievement? Are they measuring the customer satisfaction? And are they continuously improving over all those topics? This is what they would check, for example, in a system audit. So on a very high level, see if this is transferred into the organization. And then also if the people know about this and they also following the def defined standards. The next level would be a different type of audit, which would be a process audit, where we have a business process. If you don't know what is what a business process is, I made another video, go and check that out. But a business process is basically a step-by-step -step description of what is needed in order to do the business in the company. And then every step of the process, we want to have it defined, we want to have it controlled, we want to have it measured, and we want to continuously improve upon it. So in a process audit, we would check a specific business process and go really deep into this. So this is, has a different nature than a system audit because the system audit is more on the system level, but a process audit is really going deeply into one or more specific business processes. So it can help you to really dig deep and make your processes better and more robust so that you can always meet your business targets. And then another level of auditing would be a product audit. This applies specifically to manufacturing companies where you produce something. So it could be that you're producing certain parts, certain items, and then you check those items if they are meeting the requirements of the products of the customer in order to ensure that everything what you produce is always meeting the requirements so that you don't have losses, that you don't get complaints, that your customer is fully satisfied when they are buying your product. These are some basics about auditing. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful for you or if you missed something. 
looking forward to reading about it in the comments and I see you in the next video.